The wet weather that's predicted to be coming our way soon isn't expected to make any significant difference with the drought conditions we've been experiencing. Yeah, but 23 ABC's Mark Christian went up to Lake Isabella today and talked to folks up there about their concerns for the future of the lake. Structures from the old town of Kernville are exposed, cattle are grazing where there used to be water, and more trees than ever are sticking up out of the water. Sick. It's sad. Lake Isabella is the main source of recreation in the area, which added a boost to the economy. Economy is based on tourism, and tourism is based on the lake and the river. And uh, there's not a lot of, there's no manufacturing or anything like that up here. So without the lake and the river, our economy suffers. Everything you see here was all underwater within the last few years. You notice all that landscape out down there where it's all red and such? All of that was covered with water. John Cameron moved to the Lake Isabella area about five years ago. Now he's devastated by what he sees on a daily basis. I don't even like looking at it no more. The capacity of the lake is 570,000 acre feet and is currently only about 59,000 acre feet, which has hurt the businesses in the area. A lot of, lot of businesses going out because of that lake too, going, going low like it is. We know a few people that have lost their businesses because of it, but one of these days it's going to come back up again and it's a strong community. Many residents believe that too much water was released in the past because of the structural issues with the dam, now only compounded by the drought. The water's so low because of the dam problems, now all of a sudden we have no water in the lake. It's, it's all the way out to Engineer Point and it's really scary. Now I'm close to the lake shore right now and the ground is still wet and the water continues to recede. Now just to give you an idea, under normal circumstances, I would be about 10 to 20 feet below the water line at this point. Residents say this is a sad situation and all they can do is hope for the best. Things are going to get better, they always do. Water authority experts say if the dry conditions don't improve soon down the road, we could not only see this lake, but others across the state dry up within two to three years. It makes my heart sad and and I, I just want my kids to be able to come back here when they are grown with their with their kids to be able to come back and enjoy the lake. Mark Christian, 23 ABC.